good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome, welcome to the show. We uh, have gotten going here a few minutes ago, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to Oklahoma City. And we're getting into this uh, where they've gotten a little bit of ice, rain, and snow, and whatever mixed stuff. And already, we've seen three vehicles in the ditch in the last like five, ten minutes. It's like, oh, are you serious? These guys don't know how to drive or what? Yeah, that's just how it goes. A lot of these people, you know, the biggest issues they're texting and driving or uh, they're turning their wheel too quickly, right? You're trying to pass somebody and you just, you know, going like this, you know, real quick, then uh, they're going to be sliding somewhere, you know? But, anyways. We're uh, supposed to be driving into this mix of stuff here uh, all the way up to the Kansas border. So uh, after that, it looks like we'll be in the clear. But for right now, we'll be driving in this for a little while, I guess. But we had us a good time there last night at the casino. Had us a good uh, supper. They had buffet up there. And that was uh, that was really really nice. We enjoy that. Now we're going to try and go home as quickly as we can. Try and get into a little bit of a colder temperature where we won't be running into this mix of stuff anymore. See, that's always the problem when you go into Texas like that. It's warm down there, but when you come back north or when you go down south, you're always going to have that little stretch where it's that change of temperature, right? So you gotta always watch that a little bit, but I mean, to me, the road looks pretty good, and you can see how much steam is coming off of the tires yet on these trucks and everything. As long as it's doing that, you know, the road is not frozen yet, right? It's just wet for the most part. There might be a little bit of ice and snow on there, but it's not terrible yet, right? As long as you don't make any sudden movements or whatever, you should be totally fine. You just got to be careful, use common sense, don't be steering too quickly or anything like that, you should be a-okay, you know. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue on cruising along, we got a long day ahead of us. We want to try and get at least 600 miles in today, that's the plan, or uh, maybe even a little bit more than 600, we'll see exactly what we end up doing, but... Yeah, as much as possible, that's right. All right, guys, another one has hit the ditch. We've seen quite a few of them up here. You see up here on the left, on the other side, they have spun around pretty good, it looked like. Yeah, anyways, we have now gone through Oklahoma City. We're still giving her pretty good. The road is mostly just wet right now. I guess they've got the salt trucks out right now. I've seen a few of them. And the uh, road is mostly just wet. You got a little bit of slush there in the center, but that's about it, you know. So as long as you keep it careful, you know, should be all right. I mean, anything can happen, right? But I see there was another one that had hit the ditch, but they had already pulled them out. We've seen quite a few four-wheelers in the ditch today already. Yeah. I haven't seen any big trucks yet, but, you know, I mean, as long as you got a little bit of weight on your truck, you should be fine anyways. I mean, this is just wet, slushy roads, that's all it is. Yeah. Oklahoma City, downtown, there was a little bit of snow. Yeah, there was a little bit of snow up there in Oklahoma City, but not too bad. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and continue on cruising along here for a little bit longer. And, and then uh, we're going to have to take our half an hour break somewhere. So we'll probably make us some sandwiches or something like that when we take our half an hour break. Who knows? Who knows? Only time will tell. Anyhow, we got uh, 132 miles to Wichita. And it looks like up... Earlier it looked like it was only up to Kansas City, uh, I mean Kansas uh, uh, state line, but now it looks like it's moved up to uh, Wichita already, so we're going to have to be driving in this at least for another two hours before we have even a slight chance of running out of it. 
but hopefully by the end of the day we'll be out of it and as long as it keeps staying like it is right now we got nothing to worry about you know hammer down it will be all right all right guys we are now just about to enter into kansas we are only a few miles away i think and then uh hopefully well According to the radar, it looks like this system is now all the way up to Wichita, but we uh, made us a little bit of a uh, pit stop just to go in and have us our half an hour break, take a shower, right? Oh yeah, it was good. Yeah, well, good always to get out of the truck for a few minutes and, you know, just do a little walking. Take a shower, it always makes you feel much nicer. Wakes you up. Yeah, wakes you up, nice refresh. Especially when it's cloudy day like today, yeah, right? Yeah, cloudy, rainy, we were kind of sleepy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, so it's good to uh, get us nice woken up again. And now it looks like the roads are still good. It's just wet, it's just raining, that's all it's doing right now, so that's, that's good. That's exactly what I was hoping for, that it would just do uh, do that. But it looks like the front of us is clearing up, Yeah, right? it, it does definitely look that way, so I'm hoping that it is going to be the case. Which, you know, according to the radar, it said, you know, when we got closer to uh, Wichita, it's supposed to stop, right? So we'll see if that happens, but... Yeah, we looked it up how far we can make it. I'm thinking we can make it just north of... Uh, Council Bluff, Iowa, and that will leave us with 600 miles to do for tomorrow, and then we should be home sweet home. Yeah, finally. <laughs> and after sitting a, a day and a half there in Texas, it's time to go home. Take a day off and do it all over again. Except this time it will just be me, the wife won't be coming with me. Oh well, that's part of life, right? Anyways, just before we uh, parked it there for our half an hour break, my fan was kicking in and I was telling the wife, I said, probably the front uh, grill is all iced up because of all this ice rain and stuff like that and that's why no wind is coming through, right? And so then the engine starts getting hot. And that's exactly what was happening. But by the time we took our shower and all that good stuff, we come back out, the top part was uh, no longer frozen anymore, so we get a little bit of wind coming through there now. So that should be good. Side mirrors still have some ice. Yeah, the world. side mirrors still have quite a bit of ice on there, actually. Yeah. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along. What a difference ladies and gentlemen from a little bit earlier ago wow now we got nice sunshine i like it i like it a lot much better than earlier driving a night's rain right oh yeah now we get to see the beautiful sky clouds a few of them anyways looks pretty neat there on the screen i would say Dry roads. Dry roads, yeah, I like it. Except this is a bit of a boring stretch of Kansas up here. We are already in Kansas, so this is a little bit of a boring stretch, so you don't really see much out here, but hey, that's part of the this stretch of highway, right? You gotta get through here. And I guess make the best of it, right? But other than that, we're just enjoying finally nice sunshine. It's been a couple of days since we've seen the sunshine. It's been kind of cloudy. I think ever since Monday it started being cloudy. And uh, we got rain all day Tuesday. Well, I don't know if Tuesday all day, but Wednesday for sure. Now, Tuesday we just had a cloudy day, but Wednesday we got rain all day and pretty much all day uh, day and night yesterday so no well we got 902 miles to go until we get home so we got a little ways to go but 
Oh, look at that. We're starting to get some hills up here now. That's about the most uh, amount of interest you're going to get. <laughs> yep. Anyways, let's continue on cruising along here and we'll see if we make us a pit stop. I know we have a, a bit of a scenic area up here, one of the pullover areas, so we'll see if we make a stop there or not, but only time will tell. Alright guys, we are getting off of the toll road right now. So, we gotta pay our dues. Continue I think it's road. gonna be uh, about 32 bucks is what I'm thinking it should be. Or, <clears throat> I don't think it should be that, but that's I think what it is according to my little card right here. We gotta pay him cash because we don't have the uh, Kansas uh, tag, so uh, gotta pay him cash. So here we go. Let's go ahead and pay him. Hello. How's it going today? Going well, you? Yeah, pretty good. Finally getting nice and sunshine. Hopefully nice here the next week. Yeah. I hope alright. I hope so. Alright. <laughs> Have a good one. Well. Alright. Paid our dues. Got our receipt. Gotta keep that so we can get reimbursed from the company. And all that's hammered down. We're now on uh, I-470 in Topeka, Kansas. This takes us around a little bit to the other side and then we get on to US 75. And then we'll be on the back roads, I guess, for a little while, but anyways, let's hammer down. All right, you guys, we had made us a little bit of a uh, restroom break and now it's time to go back on the road. We still have uh, a little hours. over two hours remaining of drive time. And that sun is starting to go down over there, so I figured out ah, I'll show you that sunset a little bit. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see it a little bit straight up ahead there. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunset there. Yeah. Turn left and then turn right. left in 650 feet. Well, that's what we're going to attempt to do. But yeah, we have uh, in a few more hours to go. I Way station ahead. We still have 696 miles to go till we get to Winnipeg. And then we'll be uh, dropping this load and go home from there. Yeah. Pick up our son first. Yep. He's staying in Winnipeg with a few friends there, so I'm sure he's going to be excited to go home again. So are we, right? We are excited to go home too, right? But anyways, let's get back on the interstate. We've been driving on the back roads there for a little bit. Now it's time to hit the uh, interstate and head north again. Yeah, it was pretty nice afternoon though. Went, uh, went up to plus 10 Celsius here this afternoon, which is pretty nice. All the ice and everything melted off of the wood and everything. That's kind of nice. She did it again. She did it again. She cooked us a very, very nice supper. I know, right? You got the cooking stove right down there. Yeah. I tasted it. Should be good. Should be good. I know she cooks good meals, so I don't even have to worry. <laughs> Anyways, we are done for today, and we had a, a very long day. Probably close to 700 mile day, kind of. I didn't calculate what it came out to, but... I know we had about 1,080 or 90 clicks that we put in today, kilometers, so... That was a long day, right? It wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. I feel tired. But... Now I am feeling tired. I'm getting tired. Let's go ahead and have supper. Go to bed and have us a good night's sleep. What do you say, guys? See you guys tomorrow, right? Huh?
like subscribe yeah please be good share the video there we go have a great day we'll see you tomorrow